everyone. I am proceeding with my trip in the north direction. And yesterday night, without knowing, I got to sleep in the northern region of Castilla y Leon. Good morning. I better put my shoes on. It has been raining a little bit tonight. Just a few drops. My elbow is a little sore from the yesterday bike drop. Oh my bike. There is plenty of mosquitoes. Luckily the weather is much better than the forecast are saying. Maybe the little rain that came down tonight cleared the sky for the day. I'm very happy because I was supposed to get a lot of rain these days. But it seems like I'm getting lucky. I just would love a coffee. I have to buy a little stove. This is my cove. How I get to think I'm recording and I'm not recording. I'm recording and I was talking about my problems in the morning to be awakened and that's maybe part of the problem. <laughs> my troubleshooting problem in the morning as well as my trouble speaking in the morning and in the day either because <laughs> yesterday I was feeling very very sleeping along the road. I haven't had a coffee the whole day. I don't know, I had to stop a couple of times. I hope today I'm gonna feel better on the road because it's not so safe to drive when you're a little sleepy. My breakfast is very full of mosquitoes. I'm gonna have my breakfast. Pick my things up. I have already been cleaning up yesterday before pitching my tent. I always bring bags with me. I always have one on the back of the bike also. And when I can, I try to clean up the place where I'm going to stay in the night. I see plastics, I take it, throw it in the trash can. I hope everyone does the same. If we do that, we grow up in number and we do that. It's gonna be a cleaner world. I know people should stop throwing things on the floor and I don't understand why people do that. I can't. I just can't. I can't see it. I can't leave it there. I can't. It's time to get ready. Una pregunta. Una pregunta. Hay un bar abierto aquí. Está cerrado. Está ah, vacaciones estos días. Todo cerrado. Sí, pero en el a cuatro más allá. Kilómetros, cuatro kilómetros hay uno. La de, en la misma carretera. Ah, en la misma carretera, perfecto. ¿Y a dónde te vas? ¿Por ahí o no? Por ahí, por ahí, sí, sí, sí. Ahora es que, te... que está abierto. necesitaba un café y algo de comer. Y claro, dicho, pues venimos. Esta chica es que justo ha sido la fiesta y ha cerrado. No sé si luego a lo mejor más tarde habla. No, bueno, voy por Aquí ahí. Aquí tienen para darte de comer y de todo. 
si está abierto, que tampoco te lo aseguro. Eh, no se sabe. Pues ya que sí, allí te pone el restaurante Dos Hermanos, en la misma carretera. Perfecto, muchas gracias. Que tenga un buen día. I'm a little bit back south. I want to visit the rest of the Roman city. There are a lot of Roman ruins in Extremadura. I want to visit them. And here I stopped by Fuente del Ponto. This is an image of the original bridge as it was and it was built. Here there was used to be only a river. Originally had a big arch and later was built a small arch which can be seen this small big dam it's in the 70s da a dam was built at level of the water arise it was built a second bridge later one and the roman bridge elevated with the structure of seven columns to be outside the water level and not be submerged i regret to not have been going to merida which has a very, very, very beautiful, well-preserved Roman theater. I was a bit souther than I would. Maybe next time. If I ever cross these lands again, I'm gonna go to Merida. I have to say that I'm really, 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 really loving Extremadura. I, I didn't know anything about these lands, but I just feel it. Talking about trash, this is how Spanish people leave the trash behind them in this beautiful place ponds especially beer now at the moment I don't have my bag with me because I just threw it let's go no one absolutely It says it's open between 10 in the morning to 2 and 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. I checked the time and now it's about 3 p.m. and so apparently it's closed. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It came all the way and then it's incredible. From 2 to 5 it's everything closed. Bars, pharmacies, uh, supermarkets, everything is closed. South Spanish timetable and honestly I don't match at all with the Spanish timetable before I was checking for a bar for they were closed and then when I found one open the kitchen was closed at 1.20 I mean don't they eat until 2 um, I don't understand the kitchen at 1.20 was already closed and didn't even make me a tostada which <laughs> 
is I mean it's simple even if the kitchen is closed you can do it they're nice and kind because they gave me they gave me some kind of tapas they usually serve with beer cerveza con tapas they give me something very little to eat but it saved me because I, I was really starving but what the hell <laughs> the, for the food I'm too late for the sightseeing I'm too early I, I don't really match with the Spanish time table it's impossible to me now I'm gonna go to the other place I wanted to visit nearby apparently it seems to be open I hope so we came down here specifically to visit this place especially this one <laughs> Maybe I came back later, I don't know. Five is quite late for me because then I wanted to go back on the mountain and look for a place to sleep. Well, I'm gonna see. At least I am enjoying the ride. These places that where you get kind of lost. Check the road, pavement you have here, just to get an idea. And this is the view. I love it. Short ride on this road just made it up for the disappointment of finding the, the site closed. So now I'm heading to the castle of Granadilla, which is a defensive building dated back into the 13th century. Está cerrado. Ah, un cuarto de hora ya. Es que no, no, nunca sé la hora que es. No. Gracias. The castle was an old walled town of feudal origin in the northwest of the province of Cáceres, Extremadura, Spain. Let's take a walk inside. Llevo conmigo, eh. Sí, sí, sí. Aquí. Nowadays, this town is an unpopular area because of being evicted in the mid 20th century when it became a flood zone due to the construction of the Gabriel y Galán Reservoir. Pero este es más antiguo que esto. Está restaurado. Pero sería el mismo. Desde el año, 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 no, que dos sí. Chicos, cuidado No, eso es maíz. Asomaros, pero no. No, no, 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 Y también llevo más despacio y no me arriesgo a caer. <risa> Hay una más, ¿verdad? ¿O no? Se me cansa la piel. Sí, nos queda otro, ¿no? Sí. ¿O ya me ha llegado? No, otro. Oh, 
Ale fresquita. Houses have been reconstructed. The buildings were all torn down. Ah, mira los higos que están ahí. Toda la calle está cerrada, no se puede ir. To this day, it remains officially under that classification of flood zone, despite the fact that at no time has either the town or the castle been flooded, not even with the reservoir pool. In 1980, the town has been declared historical artistic site and chosen for inclusion in the recovery program for abandoned towns four years later. No te hago nada, solo quería mirar. This giant. I don't know if it's a bull or a cow. Oh, que no hay salida. Para mí tiene que haberla. Para mí tiene que haberla. Y aunque me cueste la vida. Bueno, es una pregunta, pero el supermercado este no... Ah, perdona. El supermercado este no va a abrir, ¿no? No, pero mira, te puedo decir dónde tienes un chino, ¿vale? Sí. Sí, mira. Ven un poquito más abajo. Ah, espera que... Venga, como a los 200 metros, ¿vale? Ahí está. 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 Ahí es después de... ¿Dónde viene el chico? ¿Dó, de... ¿Dónde... Ah, ¿dónde hay ¿Dónde chico el chico este caminando? Coges la carretera para abajo y sí. ya vas a ver allí, como a 20 metros, vas a ver ya... El... Un supermercado chino sí, este que tiene de todo, sí, sí, sí. Gracias. Papel higiénico. Despite being tired and being late, I decided to go back to the Roman site and, uh, and visit the ruins. Se le conoce como Arco Tetrápilo por apoyarse sobre cuatro pilares. Fue construido con granito y hormigón por encargo de un influyente ciudadano, Marcus Fidus Macer quien dedicó el monumento a la memoria de sus padres a finales del siglo I después de Cristo, que frecuente que los ciudadanos más acomodados quisieran ganarse el favor popular, erigiendo este y otro tipo de obras con el fin de ver compensadas sus aspiraciones políticas. Finally got here. It's about time. It's about eight or past eight p.m. I found this place. Here we go. Another merendero. <laughs> Picnic area. And it seems a little bit abandoned. This one too. It's not as spectacular as the other place. The other place. The other nights. But it looks just fine. So they the pine hood. And I wish. I wish I will not have any problems, any visit during the night, either 
human or animals we'll see for today that's all